Hello, this is going to be a short video on how to install my pre-rooted stock um, system version 6.3.3 .3 for the original Kindle only. Um, if you already have a working twerp recovery on your Kindle Fire, um, it's pretty simple to do this. Um, first thing you want to do is download my file, click on the Downloads tab, um, and select um, um, Update Kindle Pre-Root. Um, you click that and you download it, um, and then you're going to want to verify the MD5. Um, just need a MD5 utility checker. Um, Select the um, the file that you just downloaded, and um, I'll check to make sure that it was downloaded cor correctly. All right, uh, the codes match, so that is good. And then you can also see on my um, on my Kindle Fire, I have um, Torp version two dot two dot two dot one. Um, any this version and any newer version should work um, with my file. Um, so now we have our file. We want to uh, select mount and check mount SD card and mount USB storage, and then you should get a autoplay on your. Um, in this case, it says removable disk G that letter may vary depending on your computer how many uh, other devices you have connected uh, just open folder to view files and you can see there's nothing there right now I'm just going to drag and drop our Kindle Fire update um, it's 220 megabytes it's going to take a few seconds I'll pause the video for just a moment okay the transfer is complete now you can, uh, I would go ahead and close the this folder on your computer, and then you should um, go to your um, safely remove hardware and, and um, eject the media, and you're going to want to select um, eject the Kindle. I went ahead and selected the 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 removable disk G. Um, I like that better. Just selecting the Kindle itself. Okay. Once it, you've done that, go ahead and select unmount on your Kindle. Uh, you can go ahead and check this. It doesn't probably matter. Um, Want to go back home? Select install. And it's not showing. Well, that's Oh, we might not be on the SD card. Okay. You gotta go. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, the default should be SD card, but sometimes it isn't. Okay, so we have our update Kindle pre root. Um, so we know that's there. Um, if you were currently running stock before, you should be able to just install this as it is. Um, you don't need to check um, zip file signature or force MD5 check. Um, leave those unchecked. Um, then you just swipe to confirm, and um, it'll take a, a few minutes to install. Okay, the install took a um, little over two minutes. Now we have a we have three options on the bottom here. Um, we're going to select this wipe cache in Delvic. Swipe to confirm. This will take a moment. Then we're going to select back and reboot system. Uh, reboot system. Now, 
it's going to take a couple minutes to boot the first time. Um, also, this um, I didn't include a bootloader or recovery, so whatever you have installed will remain. Um, they won't install the stock bootloader or uh, recovery. You'll see the um, fire, fire, fire bootloader for a, um, a moment, and then it'll go, go to the um, just Kindle Fire. Um, boot logo here, and um, it'll take a couple minutes. Okay, Kindle of Fire is booted up, and it um, recognizes it's connected to the PC. You can go ahead and um, disconnect this. Okay, now you have two options. You can um, select the um, the Go launcher, or you can select the stock um, Kindle Fire launcher. Um, and you can also select which one you want default. Um, if you don't check use this by default, it'll um, ask you every time you um, go back to the, um, the launcher. And then um, it'll boot to your um, setup. I believe, unless um, it's possible that if you didn't um, quit data. Um, you can skip them, it'll already remember who you are. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure that's... So we we'll just um, skip the stuff. Yeah. Swipe to more, to device. We have current system 6.3.3. Uh, if you go back home, it'll ask you which launcher you want. Um, we'll go to apps, and you'll see we have Super User, Play Store, Root Browser, Google Plus, Google Voice, Google Launcher, um, and that's that's all I've added there. If you click Play Store, it's going to ask you to um, add a device or add a, a, an account, a Google account. Um, so there you go. That is um, rooted um, stock 633. If we open root browser, it probably will ask for the super user. There we go. We can grant super user. Uh, root browser has been granted super user permission. quick. There we go. Um, and then it's got a... This is what the launcher looks like. And, uh, got the Amazon apps, Facebook, there's our Play Store for some reason it lists Play Tour twice, not sure why. Um, that's pretty much all I want to show you right now. Um, I hope this uh, video helped you um, install my uh, little modification. Thanks for watching.